Ho ho ho! This is Bitman Proving and Biodigester Works. We are providing you with very educative videos. So why not consider subscribing so that we reach our boom thousand subscribers so that we can share with you anytime that you need us. Just click on the subscribe button, the notification bell, like, share and comment or any question you just bring it up and we are going to address all your questions and stars for you so we are now preparing the grounds for the whole setup and this is about six by two and a half feet that is the length is six feet and the breadth is two and a half the depth two is two uh, feet two feet the line here is called drench that is where we will put four inches pipe and we will pin holes underneath the pipe so that it will allow water to soak into the, the land for you to be free from any faults i recommend that your drench should be five or more feet away from the digester so that all or the water that will be in the digester will be able to sink deep into the land where he is preparing is also called soko we will put uh, stones inside and uh, when the, the the filtrate passes through the pipeline and most of the water is getting sunk uh, sunk into the land most the few one that will be left will also go into the soko so supposing there is pressure, much pressure on the digester, it means that um, some of them will get sunk into the land that is below the four inches pipe and others will also go to the sock hole. The mason also is laying up the blocks and uh, it is six feet okay. by two and a half feet six is at the ends of the blocks we are cutting the four inches spaces small spaces underneath so that it will allow water to penetrate into the land before it reaches the circle meaning that when pressure much pressure is exerted on the digester that's where people many people are using it at the time that is where water will flow and get to the circle if not and there is less pressure it will be hard for water to reach the circle meaning that we have created more spaces for the digester to soak water and this will help your digester to last very longer he is creating this small space so that it will be like a cover so, and it will not allow um, the ending part of the pipe to get blocked and it will allow water to get into the sock hole when the, the this space get close up it means that water cannot get into the sock hole so this is our sock hole we are filling it with stones stones if you have broken blocks i recommend that you use the hard ones so that it can also last longer we are filling the drench with chippings so that the spaces that we have created underneath the four inches will not get closed up and it will have more avenue to sink into the land level up your chippings so that uh, the the four inches pipe will not slope backward to the digester but it will slope to the circle and the sloping should not be too much sharp it should be gentle enough
and you cover the four inches with the black rubber then you cover your sock hole after covering it then you can fill it up with your sand or your soil So after casting your floor with mortar or concrete, you may leave your digester for it to dry. That is your, your blocks to dry for the next day. So where he is standing, we are not going to um, cast there. That is where the four inches pipe were able to, was able to reach. So we will dig further and get the four inches pipe. So after digging, we go a little lower. There is two partitions that we have created in the digester where the mortar has been um, pulled up and also where there is no mortar. The place where there is no mortar, we are going to dig uh, one foot deeper and it will reach where the four inches pipe drench is. And when it reaches the drench, we will go a little lower the four inches pipe so that before water gets in uh, into the four inches it means that there has been excess in the first soccer way these are the slabs that we are going to use to cover the digester and we also have the porous slab the porous slabs that is the one which were made of chippings and cement only we made chippings and cement only we are coming to test our uh, porous slab too you can see that water is penetrating in the porous slab and it is not passing on it so it is going through the porous slab and every water that will come out of the porous slab will be a clean water. So the porous slab separates the fecal particles from the water that has been flushed. That is the work of the porous slab. And every water, supposing you, uh, you, you, you put your drench or your filtrate outside supposing meaning that the water that has been filtered and has been exposed to the environment is going to be a clean water which is not damaging to the environment
So this is our first soccer ray. You can see that our four inches pipe has been shown up and it is showing up now the four inches pipe you see there is an extension of the drench pipe the one which has been extended to the sock the sock hole doing this method you don't have to worry yourself about doing a separate sock away for your digester because it is an inbuilt digester it is having uh, a, a sock away in it personally so i call it self-contained biodigester that is having uh, the sock away inside and also one additional um one positive thing that you are you you may have is that you also have a drench where supposing there is excess of water in the sock away it will go to the drench and get absorbed in the land surfaces When you are done putting your porous slabs in, you may put your charcoal powder inside, um, or your broken charcoal. You may bro you may break your charcoal into pieces, small pieces, and put it on the porous slab. You may also put some in the first soccer way. The first soccer way could be big ones, and the small ones are the main the main chamber where the filtration goes on so after putting your break, broken down charcoal you may put net on it and use nail to nail it on the wall of the digester so that it will be hanging in the digester whenever there is maintenance you just come and pull your um, net out and afterwards you put your coconut fiber on the net so it is an it is optional you may do it as in the manner that we are doing it or you may also use net before putting the coconut fiber Ah, 
If you have found our videos to be very educative, please consider and kindly click on the subscribe button. We are bringing more videos, updates and addressing questions that will be coming on this platform. So kindly subscribe so that you will receive any update as to how you can go about working with biofilm digester biofilm digester so click on the subscribe button the notification bell the like share and comment